Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. Now, in this post, we have tips for replacing the camshaft phaser on a 4.6 or 5.4 three valve modular engine. When camshaft phasers fail, often due to use of the wrong engine oil or a lack of regular maintenance, replacement can be a challenge. Ford Gas Engine Program Manager Richard Mayu shows you a more convenient way to make the repair. Replacing a camshaft phaser doesn't necessarily mean pulling the engine out. You can perform this repair while the engine is in the vehicle. We've removed the front cover of the variable camshaft timing housing for this video for clarity, but you can still make the repair while the front cover is installed. Take a timing wedge, also known as a timing chain locking tool, and insert it into the chain with the correct orientation. Please note the correct timing wedge tool orientation is critical to ensure the chain will not slip off the crankshaft sprocket. Also, make sure you insert it deep enough into the chain. What this does is create enough tension that the tensioner collapses and the chain cannot move. That will prevent the chain from coming off the crankshaft sprocket while you're servicing the phaser. The chain coming off can result in an out-of-time engine, performance issues, and even engine damage. If you suspect the tool has moved or the chain has moved, remove the front cover and retime the engine. During installation, make sure the alignment pin in the camshaft phaser matches up with the notch in the camshaft itself. Also, be sure to apply some lubricant to the mating face of the camshaft bolt prior to installing it into the phaser. These steps are critical. Another critical step is achieving the proper clamp load of the cam bolt. Insufficient clamp load can result in shearing the phaser pin off. It could even result in damage to the camshaft itself. Make sure you're using the proper amount of torque. Apply 30 foot-pounds and then rotate the bolt another 90 degrees. These are some of the steps for replacing a variable camshaft timing phaser and avoiding failures due to improper installation. For complete installation and repair information, check out motorcraftservice.com or visit your local dealership. Now to make the repair, the tool that Richard used to collapse the tensioner and hold the timing chain in place is a rotunda locking tool for a timing chain. This is a handy and relatively low cost tool that helps you save time and money because it allows you to replace camshafts and VCT phasers without having to remove the front cover. Now one thing to look for is that your locking tool doesn't become compressed and worn down. It doesn't happen often, but a worn or deformed tool can lose its holding power and cause issues during the repair. This locking tool applies specifically to 4.6 and 5.4 three-valve engines, so it may not show up in the workshop manual when you're looking up other engine variations. You can order one online at rotunda.service-solutions.com. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Check out our series of posts for installation and repair tips for Ford engines. Thanks for watching.